Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Valentine's Day and love is in the air and also a lot of pollution. <laughs> and everybody is making some kind of uh, Valentine special video. So even I wanted to make one. Now I did not want to go for uh, those cliche videos like a lookbook or a makeup look because. I already look quite cliche with a red dress and red lips so didn't want to make it more of that so I was actually googling for ideas and then it struck my head that uh, uh, you know what are the most googled questions on love and relationship and while I was going through that I actually came across a very interesting list of questions that you can ask your partner or you can ask yourself as well about love and relationship and I thought hey let's you know make a video on these questions let's talk about them let's discuss them you know I can like give my answers not that it matters but I think it's going to make for a fun video so yeah let's start with the video and let's see if it turns out to be a good one good enough to post so here's the list uh, so the first question is how do you know when you love someone so according to me i think you just know it i mean you feel it in every cell of your body every bone every muscle of your body that this is love you know you just feel it i don't think there's any way of knowing like uh you know you love this person you can just feel it from within so that's going to be my answer for this one how did you know you loved me okay so uh you can go ahead and ask this question to your partner i would say i just did but it does not apply to me because i'm single or maybe i have someone you guys would never know <laughs> i wouldn't tell you <laughs> just kidding okay is romantic love the most important love of all no i think self-love is the most important type of love uh, it is the foundation of every other kind of love do you or do you think once you love someone you will always love them or do you think love can fade away with time uh, i think if you really love someone uh, you don't stop loving them i mean uh, it's not necessary that you are going to be in love with them always but if that person was important enough to love i think even if that person is not in your life you don't really stop loving them because you know i'm sure that person has taught you a lot in your life so yeah i don't think you ever stop loving someone but yeah you can fall out of love did that make sense probably okay so what's the first thing you notice about someone when you fall for them uh, i think for me it would be if that person is a really nice kind and a genuine person also a uh, sense of humor that's very important and very very important is honesty uh, apart from that i think a nice smile always works for me and also nice hair and a cute nose <laughs> okay uh, what's one thing about love that scares you mm, this is actually quite funny but i think i'm very scared that you know what if the other person uh, loves me more than i love them and you know in some way i end up hurting them i'm kind of scared of hurting the person i love but i think this is quite silly i mean why would i hurt the other person um do you believe in love at first sight yes i do <laughs> which do you agree with love should always feel comfortable or love should always feel new and exciting i think it should always feel comfortable i mean uh, you are going to do a lot of new adventures exciting stuff together but life is not always about doing fun things all the time there are certain times when you just need to relax and chill 
are going to uh, spend your life with someone you can you are going to share your life with someone it's very important for you to feel comfortable with them because that's that you're going to live with them right and just even if you are just lying down on the bed and watching tv together not really talking but you know just being there for each other i think that's also pretty romantic for me and that's comfortable too so yeah in that way also it works what do you think makes people fall out of love um uh, i think uh, when you're being very needy and clingy and you know depending on the other person for your happiness or for love i think that quality is something that can make the other person fall out of love because you know or you know if you're saying something or doing stuff that makes the other person feel they are in some kind of prison and you know you're imposing your uh, your choices on them you're force you're forcing your wishes on them that is something i think makes the other person uh, very unattractive uh, do you believe people can change if they love someone of course like people do change and it doesn't have to be like big changes um uh, it can be simple changes as you know like picking up their habits you know watching uh, a tv show or listening to some kind of music that you wouldn't generally uh, just because your partner loves them and you also pick up certain words that they say or phrases i think in that way everyone changes when they are in a relationship um do you think knowing uh, whether or not it's love depends on how long uh, you have known that person no i totally believe in the soulmate and twin flame kind of connections so you know i have felt it so like there are people whom you have just met or you know known for like just uh, just uh, for a while and then it feels like you have known them forever and you know there's some kind of connection uh that you can't really explain and you know you have known them uh, since the beginning of time so for me uh, it doesn't really matter like for how long you know that person depends on uh, you know if it's love or not how long do you think it takes before you know you love someone so i don't think it's uh love at first like okay you see this person and you're like i love him it's not like that i feel that you know it always starts with okay so i kind of find this person really cute and funny and then you're like okay i think i'm attracted to this person and then you're like maybe it's a fling and then you're like okay i like him and then you know like maybe it's more than friendship and after all these phases you're like okay i think this is love so for me i think uh, if even if it's love at first i go through these phases before i decide that okay i think i love this person would you still be able to love someone after they have been unfaithful mm I think you can love someone even if uh, they are unfaithful but uh, I maybe I love that person but I won't stay with that person anymore What constitutes cheating or unfaithfulness for you um I think uh, I think uh, if you are lying or being dishonest about certain things like uh, we are all human beings we make a lot of mistakes we can make mistakes it happens i understand but you know if you do something wrong you come up and tell me that okay i i have made this mistake i'm sorry i might be angry for a while but we can at least try to uh, come to a solution but you know you go ahead make a mistake and then you don't tell me anything about it you lie about it and then i get to know it from someone else and that something is like a deal breaker i mean you know even if you can't be loyal at least be honest with me i respect that so yeah if you're lying or if you're just being um dishonest i think that is cheating if you love someone is cheating something that can be forgiven 
uh, I think as a human being you should learn to forgive so probably I'll forgive that I will forgive that person but I won't forget it uh, do you think people should change themselves to find love uh, the only change that people should make if uh, they are not already doing it is they should love themselves first like if you don't love yourself first just learn to do that that's the only change you need to make you don't need to change anything else trust me once you learn to love yourself you're going to find love from everywhere like if you don't love yourself others won't so yeah just learn to love yourself if you're not doing it already what do you think is the most important factor of keeping love alive in a relationship? I think uh, long deep conversations are very important for me and also laughter like laughing with each other, laughing at each other <laughs> and you know then like pulling each other's legs, uh, you know, keeping it light and fun. Uh, would you rather have extraordinary love that doesn't last forever or ordinary love that does? Of course, an ordinary love that does last forever. Because I have noticed this like in my own experience that um, the, the really passionate film, like movie-like love stories that, uh, that are there, you know, very intense, very consuming kind of love. Uh, they don't last really long because it's so passionate they kind of lack uh, practicality but uh, the ones that are really like dull and boring you know you can't you know really say okay I saw this person and I fell in love and it's not it's very ordinary to begin with uh, those love stories even though they look they may look very boring and ordinary from outside I think uh, those are like really romantic ones and obviously I would want my relationship to last. Do you think the way your family loves has affected the way you love? Of course, like my parents made me believe in fairy tales. So yeah, of course. Who is one couple you know that you admire in terms of love? My parents and my grandparents. Uh, do you believe you can be friends with someone you loved in the past? No, I don't think so. Never. I mean, uh, obviously, if like uh, I wish them all the love and happiness of the world, I wish them uh, good luck and everything. I hope they are like happy, uh, and you know, I really hope that they find uh, someone who they can spend their rest of their lives with but I wouldn't want to be uh, actively involved in their life anymore because um, uh, it's going to be really awkward like once upon a time uh, me and that person actually thought of having a future together or you know having a family growing old together so if I I see that person obviously that person would eventually and so would I you know um, uh, dream a future with someone else uh, it's going to be really awkward so I don't want to be actively involved in that person's life uh, neither would I want that person to be actively involved in my life what makes a relationship healthy I think uh, less of drama more of maturity and good food and laughter <laughs> What's more important, uh, physical connection or emotional? Both. Which makes you fall in love with someone more? Physical attraction or a non-physical connection? I think initially it would be the physical attraction but after a point of time it's the non-physical connection. Have you ever loved someone who you hoped would change for you? No, I think it's very wrong to change a person that you love because you love them for uh, their own uniqueness, right? So you wouldn't want to uh, change them. I mean, I would never want, if I love someone, I would never want them to change anything about themselves because I love them for who they are. So no, I would uh, never try to change anyone I love. 
have you ever changed yourself to make someone love you i yeah i did and that is one of the biggest mistakes i've ever made but you know you learn from your own mistakes so i think that's okay mm. if you had a child what's the first thing uh, you would teach them about love i would teach them to love themselves first before they love anyone else uh, do you believe vulnerability is a good thing when it comes to love uh for me i don't really i mean i don't really open up to a lot of people like uh, it takes me a lot of courage and faith and trust to open myself up to someone so if i really love someone i think um and i see that person can be trusted with my love i wouldn't mind being vulnerable but i think not all the time but yeah i wouldn't mind being vulnerable uh, what is the most vulnerable way you let someone into your life i think by telling them my fears insecurities and you know the like past baggages um, and the things i wouldn't talk about generally because i'm very scared uh, people would get into my personal space too much if they get so much of information so yeah if i'm being vulnerable with you and telling you all those stuff probably i wouldn't mind you it having in my life so um define love in five words <clears throat> okay unconditional uh faith mm magic um pure and divinity yeah okay one more about love love is patient so yeah patience okay what's the craziest thing you do for love i don't know <laughs> probably like tell someone i love them because i am a very shy person even if i find someone cute or you know i kind of have a crush on a person i would never go ahead and tell them uh, i am so good at hiding my feelings uh, but if i really feel that you know uh, this something like if i really feel that kind of love like it's worth it um, i can go ahead and tell you how i feel uh and i this is something i would never do so that is something really crazy so yeah the craziest thing i would do for love is like confess my love <laughs> so that's all the questions i don't know how it was how it went will it be a fun or interesting video i'm not sure about that as well but if you like this video then you know give give a thumbs up and also tell me the questions you found really interesting and also if you can uh, give the answers to them as well i would love to read them and i'll see you guys in my next video happy valentine's day and love you guys